Hello, people of the internet. Uh, I have a few things to say before we start, just because, like, I need I need to get my excuses out of the way, all right? One, I'm wearing a hoodie, so it's going to restrict my movement, yeah. Two, I'm using a different mouse, and I haven't played in a hot minute, okay? So I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to aim well. Um, uh, I got lucky there, all right? But yeah, those are my excuses. Anyway, uh, also, what, another thing is uh, for all the Hypixel mods that have like resigned recently or got demoted, I salute you. Thanks for your time on the server. It was fun. And some of the friends I made along the way. Yeah, love you guys. Anyway, time to start talking about stuffs. So recently, I was with my friends. We were just chilling. And one of them got the idea to take me to this abandoned country club right so they had been before by themselves and with other people but i hadn't gone and i didn't really like I, I mean part of my like part of me wanted to go just for the experience but the other part of me was kind of like like imagine if it's haunted like you know that kind of thing uh i don't know what you what you believe in personally but like i don't know if ghosts are a thing i'm terrified okay but point is we we went to this country club and it was it was chill at first i guess on the way there on the way there we were just taking a path it was i guess it was like pavement uh in a bunch of grassy fields some parts of the grass were really high whereas other parts were lower and things were easily visible but once we continued on our path the grass i guess i i think the grass got higher like it, you couldn't really see much a after a certain point like you could hear a lot of things moving around like there was some deer around us some of it you could easily see some of it that you could hear and since there was a whole buildup of like we're going to this abandoned area that people shouldn't go to and it could be haunted if you believe in that kind of stuff i was just paranoid this whole time i was thinking like well like what happens if if something actually does happen what if somebody's there you know what i mean and I, I don't think I've ever been that anxious about, like, I don't know. There, I have some other stories of some scary experiences that involve other people. But those are for another time. Point is, the buildup made it a lot more intense than it would have been. And honestly, if I had the knowledge that I did when we first went there, I probably would have gone again. There are some areas that I still probably... I'm scared of I guess I, I don't know it, it was a whole mess but at this point after walking for about 15 minutes we arrived where there's just a couple buildings so um when we first get there there's a door and the door is like I guess leaning on the wall it's not really like in place it's just it, it's tilted up against the uh up against the frame it's supposed to be in that guy looks scary. How did he kill him? I, yeah, I'm scared of this guy. This guy's scarier than the whole, than the whole story. Anyway, when we were looking around to find a way in, uh, we noticed that there, there was a first door that was just it was it looked too easy to get into. So we were like, that can't be the one. You know what I mean? It, it was just kind of that feeling that it could not have been the one. And since my friends had been there before, they. I guess they they knew where they should have gone into like or at least they were trying to find the same spot that they went through the first time with that being said no. with that being said we were trying to find other areas to get into the building from and when we were going around the back side of the whole area we noticed something in the grass so at this point the grass was like not too high it wasn't it, we, we could see what was in the field you know what i mean it was just it was just kind of an open field or that's what it looks like but then i saw like it looked like what, what looked like a pink scarf in the field which when we got a bit closer we noticed was a body and i didn't go check it out because like that would be weird right but I, I i assume and i hope it's just a homeless person that would be a lot better than there being a dead body in an open field next to a burn down abandoned uh country club you should you should fall off the edge 
Yay, thank you. Now, where's this last guy? Okay. It was really scary at first, and when I got towards it, I couldn't really, like, like believe it. Now, when we were looking for different areas to get into the place, we, we split up for a bit. Like, that's why I saw the body first, and that's why I told my friends to come over and check it out. After further evaluation, we decided it was our best course of action to just leave uh, leave it alone and just go into the building instead. Uh, obviously, we could have just not done any of that and just been smart, but no, we, we are teenagers in 2021, uh, and we're very bored. So, we found out all of the doors were bolted shut that were originally used so the door that was tilted over was pretty much our last resort and uh we just we saw it and we took our shot and it worked thankfully well i wouldn't say thankfully i would have much rather just not gone in there period but it worked and so we first got in and that was very close way too close we first got in and it was just dark like the only visible light was from the door that we opened and from the outside and that should have just been that should have just been a no-go off the rip like there should have that, that should have just told us like no don't go in there but we went in anyway and uh it, it kind of felt like i was in a video game like i was telling them like make sure you check that corner there were so many doors i think it was i think it was 10 doors that led from the main room that we walked into like we walked into the very front of the whole thing and that would have led us into other rooms that I'll be explaining in a bit after I find and slaughter this man. Come here. Uh, I'm still outside with the grip. What? What you expect, my jewelry? I am just too cracked. Too good. Now come here. Yes. I, I'm so good at the game. Trust me. That was in. That was intended. By the way, we're dumb, but not that dumb. So we brought flashlights, and I switched my mice again, because that one just it just doesn't feel right anymore. This one feels a lot smoother. So, I might be worse again, but it's whatever. We thug it out. And once we had cleared our first, like, door that was on our left of this entrance, like, area, we decided to move into a bit, like, a bit more of the main-ish lobby. Because at this point, yeah, we were in the lobby. Uh, that was what the first room led into. The room to our left had nothing in it other than like there was just random wood and stuff on the ground and we were just like all right it's time to move on and once we moved farther into the lobby so that we could check out other rooms there was like a very huge wooden plank on the floor and next to that was just a random shoe sitting there which i assume was probably just from somebody who uh, else who like had went to the place before because there are a lot of people that uh, go to my school and a couple other high schools here that have also gone to the uh, area before because it, it's pretty well known I didn't know about it until my friends told me though but then again I, I really didn't have a life up until like I would say like June because that's when school ended and I started going outside and all that fun stuff which some of you guys need to do and touch grass once we left the room and walked into a new hallway what the oh he's trying to get clips okay well, we're gonna kill him no clips for you but once we got into the hallway i was like i really can't take this anymore like this is we way too weird like I, I i was not having it but they were like no dude you'll be fine trust me and looking back at it i should have just left like there was no reason i should have stayed even though i was i was with two other people mind you so it's not like it was like a whole group and it's also not like it was just one person but i should have just trusted my gut and left but instead i didn't and I decided to stay back with them. And that's when we entered our, I think after this point, it was our third room. And I could hear something in the third room that didn't really sound right. So I, I didn't have a flashlight. I had my phone on me. So I used my phone flashlight. And as soon as I shine it in there, there was a fox. And I had freaked the hell out. Like, unimaginably. Uh, I, I, unimaginable. Like, I didn't want to scream because I didn't know what it was going to do. But I also, like, I, need, I needed them to know that there was something there. And so it was, imagine, like, scream, imagine, like, you know, like, when you're, in, uh, when you're in a dream and you're running from somebody, you feel really slow. Or, like, when you try screaming, for me, in a dream, 
I like no sound comes out. It felt just like that. And we backed up and we just closed the door that the fox was in because obviously we didn't want it running out on us. And they they like they told me it was a fox, whatever. Like it was fine because at first all I saw was two glowing eyes. I didn't really see the whole body because my phone flashlight isn't like it's not industrial or anything. It's nothing crazy, right? This guy is just absolutely insane at the game. Come here. Thank you, sir. I would say that was the thing that did it for me. I was pretty much done after that. I told them I was done. I wanted to go home and I walked out, right? And they tried convincing me to come back in and I was like, nah. And they were like, okay, well give us a bit more time. So I just stayed outside and just, I guess, serve surveillance the area. Like, I don't know. I just called my friend, told him what was going on because we were going to meet up with him later. And it was smooth sailing from there. But then they told me they wanted me to follow them again. So we went towards like it, it was kind of like a center plaza type of thing um imagine every building is in a circle basically and in the middle of that is an, like a seating area like you could just sit there and it was just it was outside it was like a nature area so there was all this light and stuff and there was nothing to worry about we went there and we noticed there was a pool and the pool was empty so we went towards the pool and we noticed there were some doors behind us and Two out of the three doors that were there were bolted shut, but there was a third door that wasn't bolted shut. And so we were interested, like, we were like, okay, well, like, what if something's in here, right? So we tried pushing it open, or they tried pushing it open, and it wouldn't, like, barge open. So one of my friends, like, turned his back towards the door and just straight up kicked it. Like, you know what I mean? Like... I don't really know what the term for the type of kick was, but it, it was kind of like he did this, you know, like towards the door and it flew right open and they put like they pointed their flashlight in there and obviously they saw nothing. Well, we had thought there was nothing in the room until the door swung back, closed and clicked tight and we couldn't open it again. And that was the freakiest thing that happened there other than the random person laying in the field next to a burned down country club for some reason reason but we left like I, I that was it that was the last 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 straw for me like what i had already thought was bad just so happened to get worse and i i i don't think i've ever ran so fast in my life i had left them behind and i didn't care like i was not trying to die that day and i started to freak out they caught back up with me we made it home thankfully our friend came back and we had to recall the whole story with him and they're actually going by themselves soon for some reason like I there's no warning them it's too late whatever happens to them happens if they get possessed don't say I didn't warn them all right now my life really isn't that eventful uh, I just so happened to like start hanging out with a lot of people recently and stuff so I think the stories will eventually get better and better, but I'm not going to do that again, okay? I don't care how many views a video like that could possibly get. I would not do it again, especially by myself. Like, I told my friend only time I would ever do it again is if we have like 20 guys with us. Three people is not enough for that. But thank you guys for watching. I love you all, and I'm going to keep making videos like these as long as you enjoy them. Bye!